Welcome Aquarius to your March Asterdice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends. For those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Aquarius. Just the best messages for Aquarius for the month of March. Ooh, what do we have? We have Saturn coming out and doing it with Capricorn energy in the eighth house. Okay. So, what is it? It is Saturn. The part of you that accepts challenge to gain wisdom. Nice. Okay, and we have Capricorn. Lots well, of Capricornian uh, energy over here, guys, because Saturn is the planet of Capricorn. So, <laughs> so lots of Capricorn going on. The energy around you is serious, materialistic, hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition. So the part of you that accepts the challenge is definitely going to be with this hard working and seriousness. And I really do feel that. And it could be for a materialistic reason. Are you trying to buy a car, right? Um, are you trying to get your car fixed? Um, is there materialism in here? Because it really does feel like that because Capricorn's super materialistic. So I would assume that it is working towards not only gaining wisdom, but also maybe gaining something materialistic. Okay, maybe the wisdom is coming on. Um, I'm really feeling like, yeah, it's like gaining the wisdom of how to plan better to get to what you need. Going straight into the eighth house. The eighth house is talking about what element of your life is it? Yeah, the transformational area of your life is about shared resources and intense emotions. So it does. It really feels like you're trying to to uh, put yourself up for the challenge to maybe oh, get something material over here, my friends. Um, and trying to really focus on saving money. Yeah, it just it's really what it feels like. Saving money, maybe saving money differently. Like maybe you were only saving this much and you're like, it's not fast enough. I need to do this instead. Maybe I'll cut down on this to do that. Something of this nature. I'm really feeling that. Um, it's really coming in strong. Maybe you want that 80 inch TV, right? And you're trying so hard. Okay. So getting straight into the situation, the situation is taking place in the beginning of the month, the middle of the month and the end of the month. Maybe the shared resources, maybe you're trying to incorporate your wife or husband's money as well. Um, trying to share the savings to get to your, yeah, ace of swords. Having the clarity and the understanding to get to what you want. Growing. Growing in wisdom. Now we have swords over here. Swords are wisdom. So definitely Aquarius bringing on this wise understanding to get to what you need. Yep, there it is, the star card coming out for the desire. So trying to find, <laughs> this, this is a dream, and this is a beautiful Aquarian card. You got two beautiful Aquarian cards coming out. Lots of mental going on over here. Trying to really get to this dream of what you want. Knight of Coins might be dealing with a... Um, this is a Virgo card, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Hey, Virgo, can you please lend me some of your resources? Come on, wifey poo. <laughs> Put in your money, too, so we can get this 80-inch TV. Oh, God. You know, I hear my husband saying it right now, right? Come on, give me some of your money. We'll get it faster. Help me out. So it looks like they're offering, or you want them to offer, either... In the beginning of the month, you're asking them to offer some of their money to help you. You could be taking a loan as well to get to whatever it is you're looking for. Um, whatever this star is and dream is for you that you're working towards. Um, 
It could just be even getting out of debt, friends. It doesn't have to be 100% materialistic. It could be taking a loan to go to school, right? So whatever your star is, since it's a general reading. But it does look like you're either taking a loan or asking someone to give over. You're like asking. Or they are giving to you, saying, here, take this coin and I will help you out. Maybe you already asked, right? You have Four of Swords over here on Saturn, and this is where that gaining wisdom is going to come from, is from the Four of Swords through this meditation and this thinking, deep intuitive thinking that you're going over here with and, and actually bringing in a lot of logical thinking as well. Being that you are Aquarius and you're very logical thinkers, you're definitely going to use a lot of analytics and logical thinking to this process. Um, Definite 100. You are not going to just kind of just meditate on it. You're actually going to, it's going to be like two in one, right? Because if it doesn't make sense to you, Aquarius, logically and analytically, then you're not going to do it, right? Because it has to make sense. So if you're writing this pattern down on a, you know, on a piece of paper or you're doing the calculations in the computer on some kind of calculation thing or however it is and you're calculating this, it has to make sense. Because if it doesn't make sense, yes, <laughs> then you're not going anywhere. Um, you are taking an ending to the world. You're, you're trying to walk out of this one step. You're waiting for the conclusion so that you can get to the dream. So you're waiting for this to end. And the only way to make this end is to gain the wisdom that you need. Um, with the world card over here. But the world is also very beautiful because it's also showing those calculations that you're doing to get out of that circumstance, right? Finding the answers to the situation, right? You're waiting for the resolution. You're waiting for the answers. You've, you know, you've got the goal in mind. Now you're waiting for the resolution, so that way you can get the achievement and the satisfaction. So, you know, it's like you're acquiring all the skills and all the knowledge as you're going on and you're holding on to that so that you can get to where you need to be. Okay, and with the Knight of Coins, yeah. And this is gonna be a good, good news because if whatever, whoever is offering you this, this coin over here okay and this is in the eighth house of the shared resources whoever is giving you this coin whether you got a loan or they're going to offer to help you um share the resources it's good news either that or you have money coming in oh no matter how you're going to see it, you have money coming in someone is offering you this coin um it could even be you know from a parent it could be from anybody um might even get a promotion. Who knows, right? It's going to be different for everybody, but it's good news coming in. And you knew that you were using the good judgment call um, when you did this. And I think that's why this is coming in so well. If you needed to ask your parents or your loved one for money, it was the right call at the right time, but they are coming in with this great news telling you, here's what you asked for, here's money, here's the help you needed, um, something of this nature. Maybe it was even if you wanted that TV, maybe they're telling you, here's the uh, TV for cheaper, maybe you found it on sale. Oh, beginning of the month, like here, this is on sale and you're like, yes, I've got that money. Okay, six of coins, there's that help again, that shared resources, that help. Somebody's giving to you in mid-month. So they called, they said they were going to give you money, and now here it comes in at mid-month saying, here you go. Three of cups upside down. Now you have the three of cups upside down. It's not maybe exactly the, you know, the whole enchilada you were looking for. But it's okay because you still have hope and you still have faith and belief that you're still gonna to get to where you wanted to be. So when they come in at mid-month, they're giving you the shared resources that you need with the six of coins, but the point is, is it might not be exactly what you thought it was. So if you took a loan 
and if you wanted to put out a loan for this much money and they wrote you back and said you qualified for the loan, but then you get the paperwork and it says, but we only qualified you, you know, you ask for $15,000 and they only can give you $10,000. It's a little sad that you didn't get, you know, exactly what you asked for. Um, but there is hope and faith and belief and you know that there is. So, you know, it's, it's kind of a bummer. It makes you a little sad and disappointed with the Three of Cups upside down, but not as happy as you could be. You know, or your parents say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, give you this money. Good news, whoop, whoop. But then when the check comes in, it just feels like whatever it is, friends, it's not exactly what it you thought it 100% was supposed to be when the good news came in. Okay. But that's okay. You still have faith and belief that you're going to get to where you need to be. Yeah. With the emperor, you're still keeping on to the power though. Wow. And that's great. Um, this money could have even come in from a dad or a grandfather or some kind of power corporate place. Okay. Cause it looks like the emperor is coming in as this strong emperor, right? This stronghold person. Um, somebody who has the resources, big corporation could be the emperor as well. Um, so however it is, but it's also showing that you still have the strength to accept the challenge and you're keep moving beautiful. Yes. You're going to go back into the logical thinking. Here's your card coming out. Uh, look, I'm not as happy as I should be. Um, but I'm now I'm going back into logical thinking because you know what? It's okay. It's okay because you have the faith. So you're going to go say, okay, now that I've only got this much, that's okay though. I'm going to go think and reroute use my wisdom and my logics to go reroute it and see how much I now need to get to my star. Okay. So how awesome is that? So yes. And with the page of swords, you're moving beautiful. And here comes that learning and that wisdom 100%. That's the learning and the wisdom. So going back to logical thinking, communicating with yourself, with your loved one, whoever you're communicating with, you know, to get all of this done and doing maybe a little bit of homework to see how much you need left, right? I mean, maybe you have to realize how much it is after taxes, you know, however it is. So take it how it resonates. But yes, you're moving on a beautiful path. And the end of the month. Okay, you do have something kind of crazy coming up at the end of the month over here. Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, you do have something going on over here where all of a sudden this is a Virgo. Could be, like I said before, some kind of earth sign helping you out. Something goes awry with the hermit and being a little cold and sheltered. And it might just be because you're trying to, you know what it is, you guys. It, it feels like something happened. It didn't move exactly the way you wanted it to move. Because this is the eight of cups. Your dreams are put on hold. Something happens and... You are put on hold. Your plans are not recognized. Something went awry, something happened because with the three of coins upside down, it's almost like you, oh no, you like underestimated something underestimate the amount or you didn't get to it when it was on sale. Um, the sale is over. Um, something happened. Something interfered with this plan. And it looks like with the Queen of Cups over here, I mean, it could be a person. It doesn't have to be a person. It's just some kind of something happened. And for some of you, it feels like whatever, if you were looking for a materialistic item because they didn't give you exactly what you needed, you missed the sale. With the three of, yeah, with the three of, yeah, it's just that interference. It's like you worked so hard. You got all the great advice that you needed. But then it just feels like something came up. 
Maybe something came up. Maybe at the end of the month something comes up and it takes it away from you. That's really what it looks like. But you're trying to use your intuition. It almost feels like you're blocked your intuition. The Hermit Upside Down that's blocking. Ooh, the Queen of Cups with intuition. So it feels like your intuition is blocked because something something happened that put you in Nine of Swords. Some kind of interference happens. And then it gives you Ten of Swords with the Eight of Cups not allowing you to get to your dream that you've been working on. I don't know how, you know, for some of you, it's a long time. For some of you, it's just the beginning of the month. But however it is, it pushes you back into a corner and gives you Ten of Swords. Um, you're not feeling very happy about this. Let's clarify on the th Three of Coins and see why, what, what interfered. So now all of a sudden, you, you block your intuition. What? It's almost like you couldn't see this coming. It was something that came out of the blue towards the end of the month. Page of coins. Blocked intuition again with the high priestess upside down. Arguing, blocking, compromise. Trying to give yourself a compromise about the situation to get yourself out of the Ten of Swords. Yeah, and it causes a tower. Something happened. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody. Two staffs didn't see it coming. So something's coming awry that you're not going to see it towards the end of the month. It looks like you're going to end up having to spend some money. Um, either someone spent money. It looks like you're going to have to spend some of your money. All that money. All this time. Either something is not on sale anymore and it's traveled away with the page of coins. But it feels like there's this news of this compromise coming in that's saying, well, you know, this broke, this happened, and it's going to be this unexpected. It's very unexpected for this to happen. So it feels like something unexpected is happening where you're going to have to spend some of the money that you've been saving to fix something. That's really what it looks like. And with your intuition upside down, it was like you couldn't see it, but it's so unexpected. Yeah. So I would say just continue to keep working hard on it, but it does look like you're going to have to, like I said, it's either not on sale anymore and you'll have to wait or you'll have to save more money and compromise with yourself to get back into your intuition and logical thinking about how to do that. However, this is, it's going to cause a tower. Eight of coins, just keep focusing. Just keep focusing um, on this dream. That's what it says, eight of coins. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.